Hey guys, this is Cheyenne and today I will solve another 2000 plus difficulty DP problem. The problem that I want to discuss today is this problem sequence sorting. Well, first let me tell you that I have made a spreadsheet and I will put the link in the description below. Feel free to copy this uh, sheet and you can see all of the problems there. And whenever you solve the problem, you can just simply write solved in front of it in a cell. And then it will be updated. All the numbers will be updated as well. You also can click on any of the videos and you can then Cheyenne, like this, see the video. Uh, so if you want, you can just come here and just make a copy for yourself and edit your version of this spreadsheet. And whenever I added new problems, you can just copy them to your own sheets. Okay, let's start discussing this problem. One, two, two, three D sequence sorting. Well, in this problem, you have an array of length n. n is up to ten to three times ten to the fifth. You have an array a one, a two, two a n, and you have several operations. In each operation, you can just choose some number like x and choose all the elements which are equal to x all the ai's are also up to n each time you can choose all the numbers equal to x and either move all of them to the beginning of your array or to the end of your array let's take a look at an example for example in here you see that your array a is equal to two one three one one three two for example you can choose one and move all of the ones to the beginning of your array. Then it will be one, 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 two, three, th three, two. Or move all the ones to the end of your array. Or move all the twos to the beginning. The rest of the elements will remain in the same order. So only these elements will change their order. Or you can, for example, choose threes and move all of them to the end or to the beginning. So each time you can choose some specific X and move all the Xs either to the beginning or to the end. And you want to make the array sorted. You have to say that what is the minimum possible number of operations to sort our array. Make sure to pause the video whenever you can and start thinking on the problem and continue the video whenever you need to know more about the solution. The first thing that I want to say is that for all the other numbers that you selected and you had some operations for them, you either have moved them to the beginning or you have moved them to the end. So these numbers will stay in the middle. All these numbers will stay in the middle. So what I can say is that these numbers should be consecutive. They should really be consecutive in the final ordering. Because if they're not, then it means that one of these numbers, for example, we have some X and Y here, but we have some other Z such that Z is between X and Y. Yeah. If that happens, then it means that Z should be here, but Z will be either at the beginning or at the end because we did an operation on Z, but we did not do any operation on X and Y. So Z cannot be in the middle of X and Y anymore because an operation has happened on Z. So all I can say is that these numbers should be, these numbers that we, just should, we will not change their order, they should be consecutive numbers. I mean, in the sorted array, these numbers are consecutive. Okay, so if you know all the values, if you sort all the possible values, if you know all of them, then the numbers that you you will not change their order they will definitely form an interval you can also say that it's like between when you consider numbers one to one you know that each element is from one to one there is an interval from l to r that you do not change the order of these numbers and you will change the order of all the numbers outside of this interval so if there is any other number x that has appeared in your array and it is outside of this interval, you will change the order of them. And you will simply ignore all the numbers that there is no elements with that number. They can be ignored because they have no effect on the answer. So the first fact that we proved is that these numbers should be in an interval. Now pause the video again and think more with knowing these facts. Whenever you were stuck, continue watching the video. 
Okay, now that we know this, we can consider all the numbers that we have. For example, in a vector, we can have all the numbers that we have in a sorted way, in a sorted order. Now, dp of i will be the maximum possible uh, number of elements that we do not change their order if i is the last number that we change its order. It's like if we change the order of l to r, we assume that r is equal to i. We assume that the last number, the biggest number that we change, we do not do any operation on it, is i. What is the answer this way? Well, I can say that for each number in this interval, they should be sorted among themselves. So all of these values should come before all the elements with this value and all the elements with this value should come before all the values with uh, elements with this value and so on so we need to make sure that the last element for example if this number is x this number is y this number is z the rightmost x should come before the leftmost y the rightmost y should come before the leftmost z why because otherwise they are not sorted by themselves and if you do not change any of them then at the end our array is not sorted. So we need to make sure that this happens. So the first thing that I need to make sure is that this is true for i and i minus one. If i is the last number, then number with index i minus one is the previous number. We need to check that the rightmost appearance of i minus one is less than the leftmost appearance of i. This should happen. If this does not happen, then dp of i is equal to 1 because it is only i that we cannot we can just do not operation any operation on it we cannot even with i minus 1 because i and i minus 1 have problems with each other they're not sorted with each other so in that case dp of i is 1 if this that does not happen but if this happens then we can say that dp of i is equal to dp of i minus 1 plus 1 and what is the reason for that because i know that i and i minus 1 are okay with themselves they are not real values just keep in mind that these are not values this is the i th the smallest number this is the i minus 1 th the smallest number so these are the numbers that we have for example we have k different numbers these are the indices of those numbers we know that i comes after i minus 1 so i and i minus 1 are okay with each other but the rest of it is from i minus 1 whatever i minus 1 can do i can uh, be appended to the end of that as well so this way we have these two cases if this happens dp of i is equal to dp of i minus 1 plus 1 otherwise dp of i is equal to 1 and if you have k different numbers at the end our answer is going to be k minus maximum possible dps maximum value for dp and this way at the end our answer is going to be k minus the maximum value of dp that we have and what is the reason of that because uh if dp of i anything it is for example if dp of i is 5 it means that we can keep i numbers as they are and just do operations on the other numbers and this way we can just say that our answer is going to be k minus 5. We change, we do operations on those k minus 1 numbers. And that's going to be all. That's all to solve this 2000, uh, 2000 difficulty problem. Okay, initially we should just say scene q and then while q minus minus. We can just say that scene n. 4 int i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus, sin ai. We can also define a vector to keep all the values. We just say that vec dot pushback ai. This way in vector we have all the values that we have in our array. And then we just source this and make it unique. We say that vec dot In order to make it unique, in order to remove all the duplicated values, we just say that vec dot resize unique of vec that begin vec that ends minus vec that begin what does it say unique of vec that begin and vec that end makes everything unique let me show you this on tablets 
uh, you have this vector. It might have several duplicated elements and they should be next to each other. When we source it, when we source our array, they will be next to each other. So when they're next to each other, it will remove all the duplicated elements that are next to each other. And then it will put all of them at the beginning. It will put all the unique numbers at the beginning and the rest of the elements in the vector will be some weird numbers. They, they, it is not guaranteed that what they will be. They will be something that we don't care about. And then this function will return a pointer to the first element that is not value. Uh, its value is not meaningful. And if you subtract it from vector's begin, it will give you the length of this part, which is going to be the new length of your vector, which is the uh, new length that your vector should have. So this way you can resize your vector and then you can run your DP on this vector. The first thing that you can say is that first we need to find out the values of Li and Ri as we mentioned in our solution. So we should define L of N and R of N. I show it like a bit capital N and capital R uh, like uh, what we use in tablets. And then we, we should just say this. For each i, I first change a of i to the number that it is in the vector because only the order of numbers matter and we can just say that a of i is equal to lower bound of vectors begin, vectors end, a i minus vectors begin. By doing this, all the numbers, if we have, we have k different numbers, all the numbers will be between 0 and k minus 1 because everything will be equal to the position that it has in vector and their orders remain the same just the numbers will be smaller they will be from 0 to k minus 1 and everything will be more neat this way we are sure that we have all these numbers and after this I can just say that if initially I have a 4 from 0 to wake that size i plus plus initially I set l of i equal to minus 1 R of I also equal to minus one. And then here I can say that R of AI is definitely I. And if L of AI was equal to minus one, if we haven't seen AI yet, then L of AI is equal to I. So first we calculate LI and RI. Then we want to calculate DP. We have a four from zero to, again, with that size. And we just also keep our answer as well. Initially it's zero. Answer is gonna be the maximum number of numbers that we do not change their uh, order. We have a four from zero to vector size and each time we can do this, we can say that if i first of all should not be zero and second r of i minus one should be less than l of i, right? Like what we said in here r of i minus 1 should be less than l of i. We should make sure that uh, the previous number and this number are okay with each other. Their order is correct. If that happens, i can be appended to i minus 1. So dp of i is equal to dp of i minus 1 plus 1. Otherwise, dp of i is definitely 1. And anyway, at the end, I should say ans equal to maximum of ans and dp of i. And at the end, I should just see out weight that size minus ans because I have vector size numbers and I should subtract ants from it. Yeah, it looks fine. Now let's test it and see if it really works well. The name of problem is 1223D. Okay, DP is not defined. So that is an error. Okay. It gives us 305, which is not correct. Because, for example, in this one, the answer is 2, because uh, it's not optimal to change all uh, three of them. It's obvious that it shouldn't be that much. Let me see why uh, this happens. Let me see out i dp of i here. Let's see what has happened. Okay, so dp is non-zero. Oh, 
oh shit, I made a bad mistake. I sorted A and then I resized, it, resized Victor. That was so wrong. I mean, I made a very bad mistake. This is, I want to sort Victor. I sort Victor and then resize Victor. I'm so sorry for this bug. I sort Victor and then I have to resize Victor according to this sorted value because the whole idea was to first sort everything such that duplicated values will be next to each other so that unique can work well afterwards. So it's so important to sort Victor at the beginning. I mistakenly sorted AIs at the beginning, which was wrong. So now it should be fine, 201, which is correct. I made a horrible bug, but now it's, it's okay. Okay, so let's choose this file and submit it. Let's see what happens. Running on test three. Yeah, I accept it. So that's all with this problem. Make sure to always make sure to always see out values when you have bugs. For example, in here I had a mistake in my code, but when I printed all the values, I easily found out what is my error, what is my problem. I found out that the size of vector does not make sense and I saw here and I saw that I didn't sort vector, I sorted IA itself. So by uh, printing out everything that really helps you to find out what is your issue. That's all, see you in the next video, thank you, Shaya.